Assalamu alaikum. I am Shi Suraiman, student of water resources and irrigation engineering and studying at University of Engineering and Technology, Texla, Pakistan. Uh, welcome everyone to this presentation. I am happy to participate in 10th International Conference on Water Resources and Arid Environment. The title of my research is Modeling of Rainfall Runoff Responses for Flash Flood Mitigation Using Nature-Based Solution. Table of Content Abstract, Introduction, Material and Methods, Experimental Description, Results and Discussion And the last one is Conclusion. Abstract A rainfall simulator was used to perform experiments to examine the effects of flexible vegetation means grass, rigid vegetation means large trees and the combination of both means combination of uh, fix, uh, flexible vegetation and rigid vegetation on runoff generation under variable rainfall intensities and results were compared with barren land means no vegetation and the peak discharge qp attenuation means the difference between the peaks of two hydrographs time of concentration tc flow volumes in recession limb means vr and falling limb representing by VF of the hydrographs were also calculated. It was resulted that the attenuation and time of concentration representing by, represented by TC were maximum for mixed vegetation. Mixed vegetation means flexible and rigid both. And QP means peak discharge, VR means rising limb and VF means falling limb were maximum for no vegetation condition. The artificial neural network models were tested to develop best relationship model between rainfall and runoff. The results from three ANN models with different training functions were compared to find the best possible solution by using three these variables, namely uh, precipitation, time, and the time of concentration. And one output means uh, Q0 runoff. Introduction In the modern world, nature-based solutions are widely adopted by many countries uh, which are developed and also the countries which are underdeveloped. Nature-based solution approach is used to minimize climate change impacts, enhancing resilience in areas of meteorological risk to society such as flooding and sustainable development. The rainfall and runoff responses are the key factors contributing to the total discharge reaching, reaching, reaching urban drainage system. A little knowledge exists about nature-based solution to cope with the flash flood. A laboratory scaled rainfall simulator may be used to study the relationship runoff relationship between runoff and rainfall by using vegetation along the hilly area. The rainfall simulator generates rainfall through sprinkles with variable rainfall intensities the equipment has also been used in many countries like india to study rainfall runoff relation in hilly terrain previously rainfall simulator was used by many researchers for generating runoff in the study area which was further used to predict predict erosion along the roads it was also used to develop a relationship between sediment yield and runoff under variable rainfall intensities in a vineyard plantation in Spain. Hence, the researchers approved that the rainfall simulator could be a useful tool in representing the natural rainfall conditions. Thus, various models were previously presented to simulate the rainfall runoff relation. Among these models, synthetic hydrographs were used to quantify runoff responses generated from the hill torrents having forests. The artificial neural network modeling is a powerful tool in simulating hydrological process which has been intensively used in the modern world. It was mentioned in the previous research that simulation of artificial neural network in rainfall runoff modeling and developing flood hydrographs was satisfactory. In the current study, rainfall runoff responses were analyzed by using rainfall simulator at laboratory scale. The symmetrical slopey areas were modeled, were modeled in the reservoir of the rainfall simulator to make similar hilly conditions of the hill torrents. 
runoff was measured from hilly model without any vegetation and results were compared by putting the flexible vegetation rigid vegetation and the mixture of do both flexible and rigid at the end artificial neural network modeling was done by testing three models and the best predicting model was recommended for predicting rainfall runoff relationship now here uh, i will discuss uh, the materials and methods in the current study rainfall simulator in the water resources laboratory at university of engineering and technology texla in pakistan was used for experimental investigation of rainfall runoff responses in barren hilly area means without any vegetation and the green hill area means where the vegetation was present the equipment consists of net networks of rainfall pipes rainfall spring sprinkles there were total 11 number of rainfall sprinkles and discharge measuring wear and control valves the dimensions of equipment were the width was 1 meter the length was 2 meter and the height we can see the depth of the box or tank was 0.12 meter the hill model was made of polystyrene sheets normally also known by th thermocol sheets or thermopore sheets with length with length 1.85 meter and width 1 meter the inclined length of the model on both side of the rectangular channel was 0.026 meter 0.26 meter width of the channel was 0.23 meter the remaining width of the model was horizontal as shown in the next slide the slope of the hilly area model was 27 degree the dimensions of the model on each side of the channel were kept almost symmetrical with area here is the isometric view of rainfall simulator line diagram and the second diagram is the line diagram of the hill model and the a area a1 and a5 the area a1 and a5 here is the area a1 and here is area a5 these both areas were same and this surface was flat a2 and a a4 were also same and the arrows showing the inclined surface whose angle was 27 degree and a3 is the channel rectangular channel where the precipitation after the precipitation starts then the water from all the catchment area starts moving to this channel and uh, this channel moves in a longitudinal direction as the arrows are representing it after placing the model without vegetation the rainfall sprinkles were started having uniform rainfall over the whole catchment area there were three rainfall precipitation spells p1 p2 and p3 that were tested tested against each case P1 was 0.03 meter per second, P2 was 0.05 meter per second, and P3 was 0.06 meter per second. Uh, 0.06 meter per minute. Hydrographs were developed by taking the runoff values from the computerized rainfall simulator. Firstly, firstly, three rainfall spells were sprinkled on the model. with no vegetation in the second step the flexible vegetation in the form of artificial grass was placed on the polystyrene sheets to examine the effect of flexible vegetation on the runoff generation and hydrographs after this effect of rigid trees on the runoff generation and hydrographs were tested and the results were compared with the no vegetation condition for each case hydrographs were developed previously it was stated that the time of concentration means the time required for runoff to reach at the outflow of the equipment is termed as time of concentration was found as a key variable for explaining the experimental results related to runoff rainfall relation in the current study time of concentration was calculated for each case the sprinkles were run for 5 minute interval for each rainfall spell which is kept constant for all the cases to examine the difference in the hydrograph peak at the same time interval 
when sprinkles were off the run of decreases resulted with no run off after some time the slope of the equipment was 0.01 for all the cases in this study when all the cases was done so all the cases with flexible vegetation with rigid vegetation and with a uh, with the mixed vegetation means the combination of both flexible and the rigid vegetation were compared with the low vegetation conditions like a barren land condition here are the pictures for different uh, conditions uh, when i uh, when the experiment was done and the first one is the no no vegetation condition second is the showing the flexible vegetation and the third one is showing only the rigid vegetation and the last one is showing the combination of both flexible and the rigid vegetation here are the experimental description these are the case id no vegetation only at precipitation 1 precipitation 2 and precipitation 3 similarly the next one is the single vegetation with single lane Uh, at precipitation one and precipitation two and precipitation three, and the next case ID is the single vegetation with single lane. Means uh, at uh, at precipitation one, precipitation two, precipitation three, it is basically showing the single lane of the rigid vegetation. S R one means single rigid line. and the last one is the double vegetation mix with precipitation 1 precipitation 2 and precipitation 3 so all four cases were uh, the here all four cases are mentioned and the three cases of vegetation were compared with the first one in which the no vegetation uh, was present here are the results hydrograph hydrograph is a graphical representation of time on x axis and discharge uh, or flow and discharge or flow on y axis having three main components rising limb crest and falling limb as shown in the diagram and the rising limb uh, and the, then the crest and the last one is the falling limb vf here it is representing the falling limb Uh, this is the crust and uh, this one the, in the curve is rising limb the result obtained from no vegetation model against precipitation 1 precipitation 2 and the precipitation 3 showed by the increasing the intensity of precipitation peak of hydrograph was increased as shown in fig in the next uh, figure figure 3 b here here we can see that uh, when there was no vegetation uh, no vegetation uh, with precipitation 1 precipitation 2 and precipitation 3 the peak was maximum for maximum rainfall intensity for high rainfall intensity the hydrograph comparison uh, between two no vegetation case and with vegetation case showed that for all the cases peak of the hydrograph was observed for no vegetation cases and peak was decreased by placing flexible vegetation which was further decreased by placing rigid vegetation means that rigid vegetation contributed more to decrease the peak discharge as compared to the flexible vegetation the minimum peak was observed for mixed vegetation cases against precipitation 1 2 and precipitation 3 now uh, attenuation of the uh, different hydrographs were measured the difference of peaks between the two hydrographs is termed as attenuation as represented in the next uh, picture it was resulted that the attenuation of the graphs is relation to highest hydrograph for no vegetation only was maximum in percentage for double vegetation mix because double vegetation mix case showed maximum resistance of flow of rainfall from the hills to the con to contribute to lateral flow in the channel the maximum attenuation achieved in the case of the uh, double vegetation uh, mix was 90% and minimum was 29% for single vegetation here are the graphs 
between uh, discharge and uh, time basically these are the hydrographs and we can see that uh, the peak of the peak of each hydrograph when uh, no vegetation then the, this blue line shows that this blue line of the curve shows that the peak was maximum similarly it was decreasing for single vegetation uh, with flexible and uh, the third one which is a light gray color and the peak is more low than the blue and the light yellow and the last one is the double vegetation mixed condition at precipitation one whose peak peak is very low than all three cases so here we can see that the precipitation two for all four cases so in this also case in this case also the peak was minimum for double vegetation like the combination of both flexible and rigid vegetation here for the precipitation three here we can also see we can also see that the peak of the press the peak of the discharge was also low but comparatively high than uh, for the precipitation P1 and P2 as the P3 is more precipitation than P1 and P2 therefore the discharge uh, peak was also little high than all than other two cases P1 and P2 here we can see that the relationship between precipitation and attenuation as the precipitation was high the difference in the attenuation was uh, low here we can compare uh, we can see that uh, when the double vegetation uh, means the rigid and the flexible combination of both rigid and flexible and then also here we can see that it's little little uh, peak is less and here the peak is more below than the other case peak flow and time of concentration Peak flow is the maximum flow at the crest of hydrograph as represented uh, in figure uh, as given in the next slide. It was also noted that the peak flow was increased by increasing the rainfall intensity from P1 to P3. The analysis of time of concentration suggested that T3 time of concentration was minimum for no vegetation case and maximum for double vegetation mixed case. It means the combination of both flexible and uh, rigid. So, the effect of flash flood can be reduced by increasing time of reaching water from the hill torrents to the downstream and downhill side. Hence, the best suitable condition was in which the maximum vegetation uh, was used, means the flexible and uh, double lane conditions of the rigid vegetation was used. So, this was the best condition in which we can control the peak of the flood here volume of flow in recession limb and falling limb the impacts of flash flood flooding may also be reduced by decreasing the rising limb and falling limb of uh, volume of rising limb and volume of uh, rising and falling both limb the flow volume under the curve of recession limb and falling limb was calculated and it was observed that the volume for the rising limb and the volume for the falling limb were reduced by placing vegetation and minimum values were observed for DVM cases as shown in the figure. We can see that for the DVM double vegetation mix means the combination of flexible and rigid both. Here we can see that uh, the peak discharge was very low for this case comparatively for no vegetation, single vegetation and uh, uh, some, you know, flexible vegetation. Similarly here also it is mentioned that the time of concentration and the precipitation, the time of concentration was maximum for the double vegetation mixed case and was minimum for the no vegetation condition as there will be no resistance uh, to the flow when there will be no when there will no vegetation and uh, the resistance will be maximum when there will be more more uh, vegetation so in the case of the double vegetation mixed case the time of concentration will be high here we can compare the rising limb volume of uh, rising limb and precipitation 
in meter per minute. And the, this graph is representing the relationship between rising limb and the precipitation. This graph shows that the volume of water in, uh, uh, for the rising limb was minimum for the maximum vegetation condition. Uh, as uh, here in the light blue color, double vegetation mix flexible and the rigid both. And here volume uh, of falling limb and the volume uh, volume for the falling limb and the precipitation P. Uh, but here that was not much difference uh, for this case. But this there was also a little bit difference uh, for the both condition. And uh, for no vegetation, it was little high as compared for the maximum vegetation condition. ANN modeling. The ANN is and the artificial neural network is one of the artificial intelligence techniques that simulates the actions of the human brain with the help of neurons. The input and output values for ANN model are represented are, are presented in the table one in the next slide. The inputs were precipitation time and the time of concentration with single and the outputs were Q0 and the N of the ANN model. And the ANN model's performance factors were R square, root mean square, RMS, root mean square error, RMSE, and the mean absolute deviation, MAD, and sum of square error, SSE. For ANN modeling, 67% data was selected for training and 33% for valid validation. Here are the uh, ANN model IDs. ANN 3, ANN 5, and ANN 6. Basically, these 3, 5, and 6 are the number of neurons that was used, and the all R and the results of R square, RMSE, and uh, mean absolute deviation and SSE uh, were, were generated through the software. And here is the representation of the ANN model results inputs are in the working of the neurons and then the final result q0 and uh, here the training and this is the this graph shows the training of the inputs and the outputs and uh, this this is the validation results for the from the ANN model pakistan have been faced 23 these uh, 23 flood events since 1947, resulting in an estimated loss of uh, 30, almost 38 billion USD dollar. Thousands of people were dead and 0.6 million kilometers square uh, irrigation land was affected. The frequency of these floods have been, has been increasing alarmingly. In 2022, heavy monsoon rains and the floods have been impacted 2.3 million residents in Pakistan, demolishing at least 95,000 homes and damaging another 22, 2,24,100 acre area. Among these flood events, the impacts of flash floods were absorbed was very rapid and high. The victims of these flash floods are mostly the poor people living near the flood plain or at the hilly torrents. So this research will help to, to help to reduce the impact of the flood. In the conclusion of all this research, I am here to describe the conclusion. Keeping in view all the above results, it is calculated that the peak of hydrograph is directly proportional to the intensity of the rainfall. The peak discharge was maximum for no vegetation condition. Flexible vegetation condition reduced the peak, which was further reduced by the only rigid vegetation and by applying both mixed vegetation and the flexible, the peak was minimum. The time of concentration with respect to without any vegetation condition was maximum and for mixed vegetation condition, it was minimum. Uh, volume for the rising limb and falling limb were maximum for no vegetation conditions and minimum for the mixed vegetation condition. And the last one is the by decreasing the time of concentration peak, this 
charge volume of for the rising limb and volume of the falling limb will definitely reduce the impacts of flash flood because it will provide the community more time to respond and overall impacts of flash flooding that will also be minimized and that will also minimize the peak of the uh, peak of the flood and in this way the community can uh, take its measures to to be safe furthermore it is recommended that the effect of slope of the rainfall uh, model and uh, different conditions can be used uh, with uh, we can also calculate the vegetation density and it can should be analyzed in the future and these are the references for the different uh, papers that have i studied that i have studied uh, to get help for this research